Hi there, 3M has reported the results for the second quarter. Despite a loss of over 6 billion, the stock price is up almost 20% from its bottom. Now if you look at the longer time period, the stock price is down more than 50% from its peak. However, 3M is still paying a nice dividend of over 5% and the market cap is around 61 billion and at the current level, based on the analyst estimates, 3M seems undervalued. Let me tell you why. In this image, you can see the analyst estimates, the revenue, the earnings and the free cash flow. As you can see, the revenue is expected to decrease a little from 44 billion to 41 billion and then increase to 45 billion by 2026. And earnings is expected a decline of 1.2 billion for 2023 and then a rebound to 6.3 billion by 2027. However, if you look at the free cash flow, you can see that it's expected to be up from 3.6 billion to almost 5 billion and then to increase to almost 6 billion by 2025. And I will explain later why is this last for 2023. Plus, their dividends are expected to be sustainable. It's expected a small increase from $6.16 .06 by 2027. But the good part is that this dividend, around 5% or even more, is sustainable. So, based on the analyst estimates, you can rely on this dividend. Your return may be over 5%. Of course, if they improve their earnings, the stock price will go up, so you'll have a nice dividend over 5% plus an increase in the stock price. Now, if you look at the second quarter results, they are positioning 3M for long-term performance, including the planned spin-off of their healthcare business and addressing a significant portion of their litigation, especially PFAS litigation. As you can see, the earnings per share have declined from 14 cents to a loss of over $12. And that happened because they have an agreement to pay for their PFAS litigation. They had a pre-tax charge of 10.3 billion. However, that will be payable over the next 13 years. But they reported the loss in the second quarter and that's why the earnings are expected to be with minus for this year. So they recorded the loss for this year, but they will pay their litigation over the next 13 years. So that's great because they'll have money to pay the dividends and they may do some buybacks. You can also see their operating cash flow was up 34% year on year. Plus they return 800 million to shareholders via dividends. So you shouldn't be scared of that loss in their earnings, over 6 billion. And their sales were down over 4% year over year because of the headwinds from the economy. Now about those litigations, they are addressing PFAS litigation with US public water systems. They want to resolve current and future drinking water claims, which was caused by their products. So with their agreement, they expect to get rid of their litigation. I mean a big part of them. The problem is if their agreement is not approved by the court or they face other claims, they might have to pay more in the future. So there is the risk that other claims may occur in the future, but they hope to get rid of them with this agreement with 10.3 billion payable over the next 13 years. So this is the problem with their earnings. They reported the loss in the second quarter of this year. That's why you see this loss of over 6 billion. Now the second thing you should be aware of is their spin-off. So 3M announced that they will spin off their healthcare business as a separate public company and they expect to retain an ownership around 20%. So the transaction is expected to close by the end of this year or early 2024. And if you look at their healthcare segment, you can see that it represents around 25% of the total revenue. So if you plan to invest in this company now for the long term, you will get another stock in your portfolio when that spin-off will happen. Of course, if that spin-off is successful, the stock price may go up I mean for the new company, you can sell the stock and make a profit. But if it goes down, you may have a loss if you sell the stock. Now let's see the fair value of 3M. First the risk. If the growth rate slows, then the fair value may be around 48 billion for a 10% annual return. By the way, 
This valuation is based on the analyst estimates, their earnings. So the fair value per share may be around $87. And now the stock price is over $100. So the current level of the stock price is a little bit overvalued for this scenario, the worst case scenario. The gray scenario, if they continue to grow more in the future, the fair value may be around $72 billion for a 10% annual return, or $140 per share. So the current level, the stock price is undervalued for a 10% annual return. By the way, I've also included the dividends. So if 3M keeps growing, your return may be higher than 10%. And the normal case, where 3M may grow a little with the economy, the fair value will be around $56 billion for a 10% annual return, or $102 per share. So the current level, the stock price may be fairly valued. Now the problem with 3M is not their profits, or if they will continue to grow or not, but future possible claims. If other problems arise, then they will have to pay more for the litigation. That means they will report lower earnings, and the stock price will be affected. So this is the main risk with this company. Future possible litigations. Of course, if they solve the current problem with only 10 billion, then the stock price can easily rebound might go up 100% or less and you also get a nice dividend over 5%. So the risk is not that high and they already took the loss for this year and next year the stock price may rebound. Until then you can get a nice dividend around 5%. So 3M at the current level looks as a good investment. A nice dividend plus a possible increase in the stock price. So it's up to you whether if you like this investment or not. Just be aware of the risk. As I said, there is the risk of future possible litigations. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.